Art is such a timeless and everlasting form of expression that has been passed down from generation to generation. Once the Renaissance period began and artists freely expressed visual art, a wide variety had developed. Depending on the location and demographics of different regions, individuals created a vast assortment of pieces ranging from abstract to realism to more grotesque forms of art. The piece that caught our attention after interpreting the various different works was Judas Lang Holofernes by Artemisia Janensky. The story behind the painting has an impactful message and correlates with what is still happening in the 21st century. This Italian Baroque style of work allows the audience to dig deeper into the grave truth behind the book of Judith in the Bible. We are going to elaborate more on the impact and importance of this piece and how it ties hand in hand with what women are currently facing every day in society. Artesimia was born July 8, 1593 in Rome. Her mother died when she was 12, which was around the same time she started painting. She developed her artistic skills with the help of her father, Horacio, and Tassi, who her father hired to instruct her on her technique. Her father's art was heavily influenced by Caravaggio since they were close friends. Her famous Judas slaying Holo Furnace was inspired by Caravaggio. Artesimia was a famous 17th century painter. She made friends with numerous artists, novelists, and philosophers during her time, as well as the famous astronomer Galileo. One of her most famous paintings, Judas Lang Hall of Furnace, depicts a style of art that was prominent in the 16th and 17th century in Europe, which is Baroque. This style of art is characterized by contrast of light and dark, drama, movement, tension, and so on. All of these are present in her painting. The painting is about a story from the Bible. Judith is a widow from Bethulia, which is under siege by the Assyrian army. Pushed by the plight of her people and entrusting in God, she tried to stop the killing of the people herself. Judith got ready and dressed in her finest clothing, combed her hair, and wore her best jewelry. She visited the Assyrian army general, Hall of Furnace, and pretended to have information that will guarantee his victory over her people. He was charmed by her looks and invited her into chat. They talked over food and drinks, and he was enchanted by her. According to the story, he had more drinks with her that night than he had ever before. He planned to seduce her later that night. His plans didn't go through. Seeing as though he was entranced by her, Judith saw a chance, and she seized it. She had used the sword and the help of her maid to behead Holofernes. This would ensure her people's safety from the killings. Artist Cartavago. Cartavago's painting of the scene inspired and challenged her to recreate it. The paintings are rather similar, with Artemisia's adding more vibrant qualities. In Artemisia's depiction, we see a deeper sense of struggle with Holofernes trying to helplessly fight for his life. We see a much more gruesome death, the sheets bathed in his blood. Additionally, we can see the actual physical strength of Judith and her maid. When the painting is observed closely, Judith and the maid have their sleeves rolled up, their hands pushing down to restrain Holofernes as well. He struggles his elbows and knees bent to show his entire body was being dismembered, not only physically at the head. Judith has a handful of his hair and beard while the other cuts through his neck. Yeah, creating this painting shows her influence as a woman during her time was not common. According to sources, she was a figure to look up to when it came to her rights as a woman as she set ablaze a path for women to follow in her footsteps. We see her strength in the story of her grooming and rape by a priest. Despite the hardships this had caused her, she continued to be one of the most prominent artists during her time. Even today, women are inspired by her strength and passion for art. It shows how her influence still lives on today in the 21st century. In relevance to the 21st century, Janetsky shows the outcome of the constant control and advantage men have over women. Long ago, women had little to no rights and were seen as objects to men, as symbols of seduction. We have definitely come a long way from back then, but women still face the struggle when it comes to men. One in every six American women have been the victim of an attempted or completed rape in their lifetime, according to the statistic from the National Sexual Assault Hotline. It is so surreal how this stat is true and how vulnerable women are to being victims. In the artwork, the outcome of not only Holofernes' attempt to seduce Judith, but the overall control he had over her city after the war was his death. Women are portrayed as the ones to blame in the lack of control of men, which should not be the case in ancient times and in the 21st century. 
the way the artist portrayed the women to be determined and strong in their actions displays the powerful significance the artist was depicting in this piece. Art is timeless. This piece of art, Judas Lang Hall of Fairness, created back in the 17th century, is still a hot topic of discussion today. The fact that we can relate to art from so long ago and discuss it just shows how universal of a language art is. We can find meaning in it and relate it with people you wouldn't be able to talk to regularly.